Alright, so let's talk a bit about fighting games. It was recently announced that the next Tekken, along with Mortal Kombat X, were going to have a little bit of extra characters. Now, I already have a problem with Day 1 DLC, but today I'm talking about the characters that are in fighting games that are not accessible to everyone. Tekken 8 will have characters that are locked to a different region, aka a special character for Japan and a special character for the Americas and Europe. Japan will be getting their own character in the form of Lucky Chloe. Now, why is this such a bad thing? Well, because this game isn't really a single player rump for the most part. This is a competitive game, and in the spirit of competition, it is universally understood that everyone starts off on an equal uh, playing ground. And the reason for that is tournaments, where the people get together and try to battle it out there for their own selfish glory, and not to mention the grandest stage of all the fighting games, EVO. So when you plan to have Tekken at EVO, you can't include characters that are not worldwide characters, because that would be unfair. What will end up happening is that you will end up having to ban Lucky Chloe and whoever the Americas get, which sucks because that takes away more of the competitive characters. Fighting games are a spectacle to behold, and you think that the more character variety the better. And I'm saying this when I have no intention to play as Lucky Chloe. I mean look at this batch! She looks like a cross between Alyssa and Eddie Gordo, two characters I hate with an extreme passion. And if by some means that these region specific characters do show up at EVO or at tournaments, then everyone at the organization are fucking idiots. Another thing that could go wrong from an American publisher is the fact that Goro is going to be a pre-order bonus character. Pre-order now to play as Goro! What if someone doesn't have the money to pre-order and is planning to buy the game like a month after launch? Is he going to go online and get his ass whooped by Goro players because he didn't pre-order? I mean fine. If you charge like $2.99 for Gordo after a month or two after the game releases, that's fine. I don't like it, but I can understand. In a fighting game, every character should be accessible to everyone in some fashion. I'm not saying that you can't have DLC characters. I don't mind that. I'm saying that you can't have characters that are only accessible to a specific group. You want to do special pre-order shit? Fine. Then do a bunch of cosmetic shit. There's a big difference between getting your ass handed to you by a character that you don't have and you getting your ass whooped by a character that you do have but you just don't have that outfit that he's whipping you on. That's like locking a special move behind a paywall. I know that as a studio you have to make money, but as I said before, you cannot break the equality of sportsmanship and competition. Imagine if, in a football game, one team gets a regulation ball and the other team is forced to kick a giant rock. You want to be taken seriously as an eSport, then respect the spirit of the competition. But then again, what do I know? I can talk about fairness till my ass turns blue, but that might not mean a thing when a team is out there that can spend a billion dollars on a draft pick and get the best players in the league. And true enough, that just might be the best way to think about it. Every time a player leaves a professional team for another professional team because he is able to get more money there, well we can just think that that professional team just bought him as DLC. And that's why I shall forever refer to DLC as dick loving cunts. Dick loving cunts because we're all destined to get fucked. You all have a blessed day. I can show you a game Filled with bullshit never ending Tell me gamer, when did you last let your wallet decide? I can open your eyes To see that you're getting fucked over down sideways and under you're getting taken for a ride a whole new world filled with no dlc i'm tired of them and they're tired of me but i will bitch anywhere from here to there until they make this shit free and stop fucking with me